All right. I think we good. Hey, music was a little bit low yesterday. We're going to try to turn it up a little bit. All right. Let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Hey, check it out. We had a lot go on yesterday. Almost too much to grasp and a little time to get to it in. But, yo, let's just get right into the news, man. Um, Shout out to everybody that, that, that streamed yesterday. The 2K community is, with the game being on life support, the content creators are doing things to make the game lit. I can't even lie to you. It seems like like uh, we are we are gonna have to save the game uh, because 2K is just not willing to do it. So if we can get more events and more things going on, like Ticino versus the world and all that, we're gonna talk about that. Um, you know, because the stuff that 2K is doing, like this right here, it just ain't gonna cut it. Hey, a total of eight houses can be trick or treat. It's, it's Halloween, obviously, all Hallows Eve. If you wanna celebrate that, you wanna do that, all that good stuff, that's fine. But uh, 2K is doing it in style. A total of eight houses can be trick or treated, offering VC boost and Gatorade in 2K uh, NBA 2K20 uh, via Intel. Now, look, I've not gone in to do any trick or treating. I've not gone in to do anything yet, so I will get on the game. Uh, we'll try to find I'm pretty sure you can see you see right here on this picture. It shows you You just pull up to the houses trick-or-treat and uh, and you get whatever treats you are So if if you if you haven't been on the game It appears that they're trying to find their best way or find any way to get us to be on the game So if you if you enjoy the game if you're not enjoy if you enjoying the game It's a, bon a bonus for you if you don't enjoy the game Hey, it may be a reason to get you to get on the game um, in order to try to get you to re-enjoy it. I don't know. But, hey, it is what it is. Another event that's probably going to lag the park up and make it unplayable, even more unplayable, just like the witch going over, overhead and all that. My biggest my biggest excitement for uh, the Halloween thing is that they may change the park back to how it was and it'll be less laggy. Because in the beginning, it was a good idea and it was all good and cool. But once we realized that the cornfield and the maze and all that stuff and the witch flying overhead made certain courts lag, it just has not been the same. And nobody, like, like the park has been almost unplayable. And the evidence of that was when they dropped the uh, Puma Mania event. When they dropped the Puma Mania event, the park was nice and smooth. Everybody was getting destroyed and all that good stuff. So it, it, it's just one of those things where you don't want to throw the baby out with the bath water you understand what i'm saying like like i understand that 2k wants to push these parks and make us feel but look you should have given us new parks in the first place all this all this changing the same park around and all that good stuff that's that's not gonna cut it we've had the same court for like three years i was the same my court 18 19 and 20 where you're going up top with spinelli and all that good stuff i think it was the same thing in 18 uh we had this same court uh, i guess when you get when you get up or to an upper echelon rank you get a different court but right now as it stands uh we, we got the same my court for the last three years same doorman they just reskinned him it is it's just one of those things where it's just like um, we, we don't want half satiation at this point. We need complete satisfaction. All right. That's what we need. We need something. At least if you're going to give us the same old park, the same old drab, uh, walking, talking advertisement, the least you could do, the least you could do is have the decency to make it run smoothly and not make it run like complete poo. All right. Now. On to the next thing. Ticino versus the world, ladies and gentlemen. Look, we can just stay on his Twitter for a little while. Last night, as you may know, Ticino faced off against g -Size. Uh, You can go to Ticino's page and uh, and see that. Also, uh, Rat played against Cheezaholic last night. Uh, Rat took the series, uh, and then, she, then they played Cheezaholic one-on-one, and obviously Cheezaholic took that. But um, you can see, you can't see that unless you, it's behind a paywall on Twitch. The entire thing, but ironically, the person that probably has the most subs, he didn't put it his behind a paywall. He just put it straight on, uh, straight on YouTube, so you can go see see Ticino and see his part of it. Uh, those guys are all gonna uh, are all going to release videos about it, but um, you know, it, it it just is what it is. We cry about 2K hiding things behind paywalls, but then we do the same thing. <laughs> I, ironic like we said it's the community man it, it's it's just it's just as much the community as it is the the actual game but hey to each his own do what you got to do look Ticino played Z-Sice last night and uh Ticino 
took the series. I mean, took, he, he lost the series. It was weird, man, because, okay, the first part of the series, I think it was like 20 to 19. I think G-Site says it was 18, 19. But it was 20 to 19, Tyson on blue screen. They said, okay, we're not going to start the game over. We're going to play it back from zero. And then, um, then I think it was like five to five the next game, and Tysino had his shot meter on, so they killed that game. And then they went and played another one. Then we had to wait. Like, the first time you quit out of a game, you have to wait like 15 minutes. The second time you, you quit out, you got to wait like 30 minutes. So we had like, it was like a rain delay. Um, it was almost like a rain delay. So after the delay, uh, G. Sice took the series. I think it was like 3-1. Actually, it was a pretty good series. Um, but if you know anything about how G. Sice plays and how Tysino plays. Um, you, 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 I don't know. Like it was a good series. It was, it was, it was cool to watch. I can't say it was fun to watch because it was really just who could screen the other guy's person the most. And, um, you know, it was just one of those things where it's like, like, okay, who can land the best screens? And I, I, I really not like, cause I don't want to, I don't want to sound down upon that game, that, that style of play, but that's really what it came down to. Who could dance behind screens the best? And G. Sice was able to dance behind screens and get threes, and Tysino was able to dance behind screens and get twos, or you know, run around and get twos and stuff like that. The problem is you can't give G. Sice the ball, and like Tysino said in the vid in his video, which you can watch on his uh, YouTube channel, you can't give G. You you you're not gonna stop G. Sice five times in a game. It's just not going to happen. Now you can try. But you're not going to stop him five times. So he's like, yo, we can't give him the ball that much. We're going to have to sit here. We're just going to have to uh, D up and, and play. And they just weren't able to do that. So, uh, like I said, you can see the whole series on, on Ticino's channel. It was, it was cool to watch. Can't say it was fun to watch. But with that much money on the line, I cannot tell you that I would not be doing anything other than the things that it took to play. Also, last night, we had... Um, also last night we had Tysino versus Dan Wizard and uh and Ja hit him up and Dan Wizard and Ja hit him up took the L on that one. Uh, that was actually that was actually one point in the game when um you know I I I don't know I guess I'll just let Tysino speak for itself. Let's 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 get it. Wow, wow, okay, shiver me timbers. Golly, this match has been quite the show. Golly, hey, I don't know, man, talk? like, I'm I'm not trying to say anything, but golly. <sighs> Faking my head, sir. One more time. Wow, wow, okay, shiver me timbers. <laughs> And y'all already know what he meant when he was saying this match has been quite the show and, and shiver me timbers. Uh, he was trying to say, he was trying to imply that that series was sweet. And I guess it was pretty sweet, man. I guess it was um, for him or what have you. But uh, as Drowsy put it, when you realize it's free cash, you turn into a pirate. And that's what he said, shiver me timbers. And then we got all the SpongeBob, SquarePants stuff, free money. Hey, it's not just free cash. It's free real estate. But anyway, hey, you y'all, hey, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But hey, let me see. That that dude Tysino got Ja time. <laughs> got Ja hit him up uh in his room listening to to Marvin's room. Bro, hey, they really was going in on the memes last night, man. But like I said, it was a really good series, man. Um if you watched all of it, you watched all of it. After the G-Sight series, Tysino was a little bit inconsolable. Glad he was able to, to come back and bounce back and, uh, you know, get it rolling in the right direction. And, um, you know, he said, uh, he actually said, I can confirm that, let me, let me, let me swat, slide to it. I can confirm that Den Wizard sent the money, a man of his word when it comes to wages. Hey, GG's. And then, uh, you know, hey, big shots to, uh, Big shots to to big shots, big shot Chico is his new name, bro. Speaking of big shots, there's no bigger shot in the whole community than your boy. Uh, we 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 offer that right now, right? There's no bigger shot in the community than um this snack guy, bro. Like snack guy hits. I, I don't even understand it. How like. 
there was one game they lost, and Tosino just walked off, right? But let me see if I can find how they lost. Because if I lost like this, bro, I would have, I, I, I probably would have raised and walked off as well. Bro, Snag God hit the most contested. He hit the most contested fadeaway ever seen in life. Hold on one second. I'm going. I'm going to find this. Yeah, dude. Here we go. Here we go. This is before he became, he became Hoodie Tassino. Like, bro, I would have been pissed if this happened to me. And you can see that Tassino wanted to be mad, but he he really couldn't be mad. But you know, it, it is one of those things where it's just like when you wager. This is why I would never wager, especially that amount of money, especially on, especially on this game, because when you wager money like that, oh yeah, here we go. When you wager money like that, and things don't go your way, look at this right here. Two seconds left on the shot clock. Fader, he hit him with the Darth Fader. One more time. One more time. We're gonna go backwards. Look at this. You imagine playing, okay, so Tassino, look, he, he misses. Snag God gets the ball. Out to G Sice. G Sice behind the back. Goes to Snag God. 17 seconds left. Snag God trying to protect the ball. He doesn't want to give it up. G Sice with a little dribble, little, little razzle dazzle. 11 seconds left. You're playing perfect defense. Tassino has him boxed. He's got him boxed. He can't take the shot. Five seconds left. Snag God gets the ball. Fate. Two seconds left. Fader. Cash piping up like a personal reserve activist. Oh, you probably couldn't see it because my because my uh because my body's in the way. We gonna let, let me do it like that. You you can see it with Tassino. Three seconds left. Here we go. Fader Green Cash piping up like a personal reserve activist. Bro, if I lost, I am telling you right now. Look at the face, Tassino's face. Tassino with the face of disgust. He's look at look at how incredulous his face is during this. Tassino with the face of disgust. The look at disgust. Tassino, one of the favorites. Hey, if you know what this from, man, y'all. Hey, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But yo, he somehow, somehow that happened. So it's one of those where you just say, so that happened. Anyway, like I said, you can't get those guys too many shots. So hey, GG's back to them. Tassino said that he has two more bets locked in um, for tonight, though. Uh, I think he says he's got G-Man. Yeah, so so 6, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Ticino versus G-Man. Uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Ticino versus G-Man finally goes down. Best of seven, uh, 2v2, $2,000 pot. So, you yeah, know, and he said, I'm not losing against G-Man today. Be there. Ticino had to subtweet his own tweet. I like that. And then let's see what, we, what else we has. Uh, and yes. NFL player Antonio Callaway wants a $2,000 wager on the 3v3s ASAP. Might pick up someone goaded uh, for threes on the East after the G-Man series. Who who should he pick up, though? I can't think of anybody that he should really pick up. Maybe he should pick up G. Sice. He obviously sees that G. Sice is cool under pressure. That's what I was going to say. Like, sometimes G. Sice ain't cool under pressure. The last series that he played, but they were playing against locks, though. Who, who could be really be cool under pressure? I knew that G. That G Sice is not the person that you want to play or to start off, you know, doing the series, which you probably want to get going, get your oils flowing and stuff first, but, hey, he did it. Um, hey, shout out to him. He played the hardest, one of your hardest games first, but we know that G-Sight sometimes will do things at the end of the game, you know, and that might cost him the game because he did take one of his signature shots at the end of the game, and our snack guy was like, bro, why you do that? Because you know those guys can score all the time and come back. But they got to stop and they got to win. Anyway, on to the next thing. Chalk DF, first legend, the super grinder, Chalk DF. Hey, listen, man. Somehow he got to legend and he didn't get half as much hate as my guy Jay Fox did last year. I don't know how. I mean, everybody was like, I don't understand this, bro. Like, in the 2K community, everybody rooted for Chalk this year, it seems like. Everybody wanted him to get there first. And they're also rooting for, uh, but everybody's hating on uh, well, well, a lot of people are rooting for Chalk. But a lot of people, I didn't really see a lot of Chalk hate this year. Last year, that's all I saw was Jay Fox hate. And Jay Fox didn't even do anything to anybody. Yeah, he had a squad, but the people that beat him to Legend or 99, they had a squad too. So I, I, I really didn't get it. Is it just like people just don't like Jay Fox or something like that? Do we just rally behind? Because I see just as many people hating on poor boy Sin, and they keep coming in there telling him that, you know, Chalk is this, Chalk is that. I, I, I don't get it. Either way, 
Look, salute to Chalk DF. He grinded, and now you have reached YouTube immortality. If you take it the right way, you can carry this. You can be relevant for years, and you can set yourself up for life. If you do it the wrong way, like a lot of first uh, top reps have done, uh, just as many top reps have done, you can be irrelevant next month. It's really up to you. You have to, right now, you have the attention of the community. You have to put out good content, good consistent content starting today. You don't have until two days from now to put out these videos. You have today to begin putting out good videos and 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 to begin take advantage of having the, the attention of the community because i promise you this does not last beyond this year or what have you You understand what i'm saying like you got the attention the attention is not going to last past you know very long so you got to grab the community's attention you got it put out good videos let them know why they should stay watching you and uh, hey, capitalize on it, my man. God speak. But I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you one thing, bro. It, it's you're just not gonna be able to, nah. Just just putting out regular videos, nah. You gonna have to put out stuff that is actually compelling and all that good stuff. I mean, that's I, this is just what I've seen and what I've witnessed. So it is what it is. On the regular sports, guys. Watching the Nationals win the World Series six two last night. Um, crazy that they went from a wild I think I'm pretty sure they were a wild card because I want to say the Braves won the division because I'm an Atlanta Braves fan and I'm really salty about it so I choose not to remember the Washington Nationals or anything that has to do with them because I'm obligated to hate them contractually for the rest of my life in our division but 162 last night you know you look at the whole series and the only thing I saw bro look like people were like like you look at the series right and it's like game one against the Astros you know they won game one Blasted them game two, lost three in a row, and then won the last two. And I was talking to my buddy Stretch, and they were like, dang, but I mean, how they lost three in a row? Bro, let me show you why. Let me show you what that had to do with. They have nothing to do with this right here. Game one, Max Scherzer. Game two, Steven Strasburg. We don't even care who pitched these three. We know it wasn't Scherzer or Strasburg. Look at that. 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 You see Scherzer or Strasburg? No. You see Scherzer or Strasburg? No. You see Scherzer Strasburg? No. Hey, but these last two games, who you see? Steven Strasburg and the last game, Max Scherzer. Hey, that's all you had to know, man. Look, I, I, I think a lot of the Washington, if you're a Washington Nationals fan or if you hate them like I do or like you have to because you're an Atlanta Falcons fan, hey, matter of fact, we got the dog working on live joints up, man. My boy got him in the, in the shop. I know y'all like this hoodie, man. Hoodie J, hoodie easy in the building. But if you like... um. If you watch them like I do and you know about them, you knew that there was three, that three games slide in the middle of you like, ah, it don't matter. We got Strasburg and Scherzer. If you're watching the National Fan, tell me that's, what you, that's not what you were thinking. That three games slide in the middle of you like, ah, whatever. We got Strasburg and uh, Scherzer coming up last. So when they're back, we're going to win. It is what it is. So, um, hey, that's how we're going to go. Uh, back to the regular NBA. We had a cat fight last night. And, uh, you know, we had Joel Embiid. And uh, Carl Anthony Towns, they mixed it up a little bit, man. You know, just a little bit. They, 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 they couldn't keep them hands to them, their hands to themselves, and all of that good stuff. And uh, as you can see, they, 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 hey, they were living their best lives on the court last night, uh, and they wasn't going back and forth. To me, to me, a lot of people like, oh, you know, these guys tough, blah 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 blah, this and that. Uh, you, you had Ben Simmons. They said Ben Simmons was the peacekeeper, but uh, one of the greatest memes that came out of last night was this hold on hold on one second let me get the let's get the music right hey people make the greatest the greatest memes they got the jim ross voice <laughs> bro y'all make the greatest memes in the world hey one thing i can tell you about this whole thing is man they they act like it wasn't over. They go back and forth on Twitter all the time, and it seems like it just it just came to a head last night. And um, you know those guys went against each other, and then they going back and forth on Twitter afterwards. And to me, I mean, uh, your boy your boy um, Embiid was reported saying, first of all, I ain't no B word, and blah blah blah, this and that. But bro, look, let me be real with you. All that stuff is the epitome of of sucker. That's sucker stuff, bro. Y'all were right there 
y'all could have handled it right there. Why are you going back and forth? Like, Carl Anthony Towns really tried to handle it right there. I guess they both tried to handle it right there. But that's sucker stuff because if you want to catch a fade, you can catch a fade. Y'all know where each other are. Y'all offline. Y'all can find each other offline and all this stuff. All that fighting on the court is for show. You can't tell me otherwise. That's just like... What, what dude was saying the other day when people used to wait till the security guard at school came and then swing on you because they knew that regardless of who won the fight, it wasn't going to be too long before the fight was over. So they weren't going to get destroyed. You understand what I'm saying? If y'all want to catch a fade, y'all need to go to a bar or somewhere that does boxing on Wednesdays and catch their fade. Y'all don't need to be trying to fight on the court, costing people money, game checks, and all that stuff, unless you really don't care. Because that's what that shows me, that you don't care about your team and all that. If I got a problem with you, we can handle it privately, or we can do whatever. All this stuff in the media, that's, that's I want to say what it is, that's sucker S, but that's sucker stuff, bro. Women handle stuff like that. Men don't ain't supposed to handle business like that. This is not this is not nothing for y'all to be doing. Y'all want to catch the fade, y'all catch the fade. But you want to fight on the NBA court now? All these guys here, we don't even know how long Ben Simmons gonna be out because he put him mad in the chokehold and stuff. You want to involve all these people and stuff like that? Like they didn't want to fight, man. It's just like my daddy used to say: one of them scared and the other one glad he is. That's just all to it. If you ask me. One of them scared and the other one glad he was, and they didn't want to fight, and they, that's why they did it right there on the court. Or it was just like maybe Carl Anthony Towns was, maybe Embiid didn't want to fight, and he wanted to, he just pushed Carl Anthony Towns, and Carl Anthony just had enough to where it erupted right there. We don't know what he said. But look, let me tell you this. When Kevin Garnett told Carmelo Anthony that Lala tastes like Cheerios, did they handle that on the court? Nah, uh-uh. Melo was at the bus where nobody wasn't gonna try to break it up. He was at the bus. You understand what I'm saying? If they really wanted to catch that fade, they could have caught it back there. Now security probably would have broke it up because they ain't trying to mess up their money, but all I'm trying to say, y'all get what I'm trying to say. They ain't want to do nothing, man. So it is what it is. That's why they fought it out on the court. Also, look, Stephen Curry, bad, bad break. And, it, and it's not a, uh, it's not a, it's not a uh, pun, man. Bad break for the, for the, uh, Dang, man. Bad break for the Warriors, bro. They, they done lost so many people to injury. You lose Kevin Garnett to in, I mean, Kevin Durant to injury last year. You lose Stephen Curry to this right here, bro. You lose, um, you lose, uh, Clay to his knee. And, like, a lot of people were saying, like, Swante had put out a tweet yesterday, and he was talking about a lot of people just kept saying that this is just, you know, the, that, oh, it's, it's just three games. Don't read anything into it. Bro, Chuck already had told y'all that that this this season was going to be a pretty bad season for these guys just because of the simple fact that we don't know where the scoring was going to come from. You had Draymond Green. You had, uh, you got Draymond Green. You, like you got St Steph, who can give you 30. You got Draymond going to give you 15. And you got, uh, and you had your boy uh, D'Angelo Russell that might give you, they might give you 20. So what you got? That's 50, that's 65 points, right? If my math is right, 30, 20, and 15 is 65. So with that being the case, what can, what can you really do? What can you really say? You're not going to win games with 65 points. The defense just isn't there. You need more scoring. So with that being the case, how are they going to get back to the uh, get back to the joint, man? It's, it's just not going to be possible, uh, especially with Steph out now. It, it's really no reason for them to try to rush him back or do anything like that. Uh, hand injuries normally break your hand in six to eight, six to eight weeks. It's a non-shooting hand injury. Feasibly, he probably could play as soon. They probably put a plate in or something like that and uh, put a pad on it like they did. I think they did AI like that at one time. He had a pad on it or something like that, and um, he played. Oh, that was his elbow when he started wearing the sleeve. Either way. It is what it is, but uh, it's not looking good for the for the. It's not looking good for and then they playing in a, in a in a in a barren stadium too because they said like you said you you move from Oakland from downtown Oakland to Santa Clara or wherever they are you just realize that the, the fan base ain't the same so you know it's just not looking good for the Warriors right now man hopefully they can rebound from this they still have a window open but uh this year just ain't the year I ain't on to other NBA action man we just gonna go quick quickly down there Bulls Bulls lose to the Cavs uh, 117 to 111. Tristan Thompson with 23 points, 10 rebounds, and two assists. And uh, Markinson with uh, 16. What is that? Laurie Markin Laurie Markinen 
with uh, 16 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists. Hey, that's, that's, that's a tough stat line right there. Hey, the resurgence of Andrew Wiggins continues as the Timberwolves lose to the 76ers, 117-95. to Boy, how you lose your best player and you get blown out? Wiggins with 19 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. And B, before he's thrown out of the game, 19 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. Hey, identical stat lines. You got to love it. Uh, the Knicks lose to the... Uh, Orlando Magic, Julius Randle with 16 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists, and uh, Vucevic with 21 points, 13 rebounds, and 4 assists. You know he always going to have the top stat line regardless of what's going on. The New Jersey Nets. New Is it New Jersey anymore? I don't even know where they at now. Brooklyn Nets. Dang, boy, I'm old. I'm still thinking about old guy. Anyway, uh, lose to the Pacers, 118 to 108. Uh, Sabonis with 29 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists. Hey, baby, Sabonis is tough. Kyrie Irving, 28 points, 7, 7 rebounds, and 6 assists. Looks like he wasn't having one of his hissy fits or one of his mood swings last night, according to ESPN. Raptors, uh, Raptors over the Pistons, 125 to 113. Uh, we got Andre Drummond with 20, 21 points, 22 rebounds, and four assists. He's becoming, I mean, three assists, becoming an absolute monster. Pascal Siakam, uh, Pascal Siakam, get him. 30 points, five rebounds, and uh, five assists. Gotta love it. The Bucks fall to the Celtics, 116 to 105. Uh, but Middleton, 26 points, six rebounds, and three is three assists in a losing effort. Kimba Walker, 32 points, six rebounds, and six assists uh, in the dub. Uh, we're going to talk about this one last. Trailblazers over the Thunder, one, 102 to 99. That's, that's that's pretty tough. I expected them to lose lose even worse. Uh, Damian Dame Dollar, 23 points, seven, re, 7 rebounds, 13 assists. Chris Paul, 21 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. Still doing what he does. Uh, Clippers. Clippers. Uh, lose to the Jazz. The Jazz are a tough team, 110 to 96. Obviously, we still have the Clippers with the absence of Paul George, but hey, it is what it is. Lou Williams, 24 points, three rebounds, four assists. Mike Cunley, Jr., uh, 29 points, one rebound, five assists. Uh, what we got? The Hornets over the Kings, 118 to one. Hey, all these scores over 100. Do we play defense anymore? Anyway, Washington with 23 points, eight rebounds, three assists. Buddy Hill, 23 points. Uh, one rebound and four assists in the losing effort. The Suns, obviously, over the Warriors, 121 to 110. They made it that close, I, even after losing them. Hey, Booker, 31 points. Devin Booker, 31 points, four rebounds, five assists. And uh, Pascal with uh, 20 points, three rebounds, no assists. And last but not least, we've got the Rockets and the Wizards. Boy, these boys scored over 300 points combined. 317 points combined, if my math is correct. Bradley Beal, 46 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists. Uh, James Harden, five, uh, 59 points, 3 rebounds, and 9 assists. But look, though, what y'all missing is a lot of people, hey, Russell Westbrook is not going to be able to do it. He still had a triple-double. I'm telling you, man, if they could actually play some defense, bro, uh, how many free throws? With 18. This dude shot seven to 18 free throws and hit 17 of them, my guy. Come on. But anyway, the way that they're running this team right now, I kind of like it, man. I really think this is going to be something that's going to be successful. This video already been too long. I know I ain't going to get no views, but it is what it is. Uh, look, um, the way that I like that they're running it, you're letting, you're letting, okay, so in, in the past, James Harden, no matter what happened, dribble the ball up the court real slow. Just dribble. I'm just going to dribble it up. I'm just going to dribble it up. I'm going to step back and I'm going to shoot it. But, yo, what the dynamic that they have right now is dope to me because on misses and, and fast break situations, you got Russell Westbrook. Find Russell Westbrook, get in the ball, he get down court, make plays. And then in, in walk the ball up situations, you got James Harden walking the ball up. I think the dynamic can really work, but they're going to have to get this defense together, man. You can't be giving up 150, 158 points and, and think you're going to win. Um, just, it just can't happen, my guy. You, you're not going to be able to do that and win from night to night. You're going to have to get the defense. Just, just, just get your defense together, man. But we know the Mike D'Antoni uh, system really doesn't allow you to play defense. It doesn't really allow for defense, but like, if they could just get a handle on that, they'd be fine. I mean, look, every game they've played has been a shootout to this point. 150, look at it, 159 to 158, 116 to 112, 126 to 123. Uh, those are the dubs, 117 to 111. Every game has gone over 100 points. But you know, it is what it is. And last but not least, man, hey, shout out to my guy, Trey Young, man. We really don't know 
what the what the deal is. He had an MRI, and um, and and uh, it, I think it came back negative. So it's not a it's not a break or anything. It's just a high ankle sprain. He's still very young, no pun intended. But they're saying that he could be back as soon as next week. Hopefully he is. I feel bad, man, because I hadn't watched any Hawks games all year. And the one that I watched, like I've just been watching his highlights because I think I'm going to jinx my team. And the one game I watched, bro, he he sprained his ankle real bad. High, really high ankle sprain, too. I saw what he was grabbing. I just turned the game off, man. I was like, I just feel bad. But John Collins is looking real good. Cam Reddish is looking real good. If they can get this together, Trey Young feels like he's playing at another speed, man. If y'all think so, if you agree, let me know. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your shirt size down there. If you made it this far, give me a gym star. If you made it this far, uh, say get well, Trey. Uh, who's your favorite team, man? If you're watching the Nationals fan, let me know. But I got to get up out of here, man. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. I didn't mean to make the video this long, man. I'm sorry. I won't do this again, but I'm out. Let me know if y'all like the sports segment, though. Do I, should I just leave that out or what? And I'm gone. Peace.